Hey guys, Silicat2 here. Welcome back for more La Milana. In the last episode, we got the uh, ice cape from the Temple of Moonlight. And in this episode, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's opened up to us now. We have the ice cape and the bronze mirror and the other things, so we're going to be getting some of that done. First of all, you'll notice I uh, did some more coin grinding. I now have 303 coins. That should be more than enough to buy the things we want to buy in this episode. So first, we're going along my usual grinding path place thing. So that... Actually, no, this is where we want to go. <clears throat> we can use the conception seal on this uh, mark right here. And that opens up a new shop to us. Where we can buy... The Detector! This will make a beep beep sound whenever we uh, enter a place with a hidden shop. Okay, now that we've done that, we can proceed to the next area of the game. I'm well aware that we haven't killed the fourth boss yet, but there is something we really want to get before we even try to fight him. Because it will be hard to kill him without this item. First of all, you want to... Make sure you have plenty of shurikens, and you're going to kill this Buer guy. To do that, and that opens up the uh, number 5 area, as you can tell by this symbol. Number 5 area is the Inferno Cavern, home to some of the most awesome background music in the game. So yeah, as I said, Inferno Cavern is area number 5, and as you saw back there, I just scanned the skeleton with my thing to get the uh, Hyper Olympic 3 ROM. At least I think that was Hyper Olympic 3, it might have been Hyper Rally 3. Scan this skeleton to get Firebird. And then you just want to attack these snake statues until they start shooting at you. Try not to fall. And once they're both start shoot once they both started shooting, you can claim the map from over here. As you can see it's a pretty small area. All things considered. That uh, pedestal is a trap until we get a certain other item later on. Oops, uh, accidental birth seal much. Yeah, you can use the birth seal on this mark here on the wall to open up an area over there that we will be going to later. Scan the uh, blue thing lying on the ground. It's very hard to see, but it's the Antarctic Adventure ROM. Somebody just left a cartridge lying around. You definitely want to get that ROM. It is one of the most important items in the second half of the game, for reasons we will be seeing later. Once you get the other half of its combo. Now, I do not have the item required to uh, get into that area, yes, you do need an item besides just the ability to fall down, but there's another thing we can get down here that we... I can't imagine... well, okay, I actually can't imagine another way to get it, but here we have the puzzle that really ticked off a uh, deceased crab when he went to do it early. That's, uh, the phone. I'm sorry. First, you want to push this block down here. And push this block down here. It's important that you push this block off on the ledge before activating this trigger because it'll spawn another block that we can push. Now push this block onto this one. And push this block onto that trigger. Next, you want to push this block off of this ledge. And off of this ledge. Head back up to this block. And push it onto that trigger. Let's see which trigger I mean. That trigger. Now make another block up here over there. Which you can push down here. Then you push this block down here. 
and that makes the final block appear, which you just push onto the trigger right next to it, and that unveils an Onyx sub weapon. This is the fire gun. It attacks enemies directly above you, which will be useful when we're collecting stuff later and fighting certain enemies as well. One boss in particular is especially vulnerable to it. I'll be getting into that later. As you might have heard, the detector made the beep beep sound, meaning there is a hidden shop in this area. To get to this hidden shop, you climb up here, use a weight there, and attack this rock. That will get you the Mahjong Wizard ROM. This is one half of an especially powerful ROM combo that will power up your whip. Okay, I actually I actually did not mean to fall into the lava here, but it's fine since, you know, we have the ice cape now. We want to step on the switch and stack up the blocks near here doing a very haphazard job of stacking the blocks. But it actually doesn't matter, because you can do that. And that gets us the Grapple Claw. Now that we have the Grapple Claw, what we actually want to do is break this uh, wall here with our knife, scan the alcove, and that gets us Game Collection too. Then we can go up here and activate the waypoints, so we can get back here anytime we want to. This is the Inferno Cavern, a place that was once a source of power. Geothermal, very, uh, green, or perhaps red? Eh, I don't know. That should totally be a thing, red energy instead of green energy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being weird here. Anyway, now we have the Grapple Claw, we can actually get an upgrade to our whip. This is the first of two upgrades to the to the whip that we'll be getting. I'll wait for this uh, flame guy to get out of the way first. That which is not here is here. It is at another here. We are actually looking for the Ankh Jewel in this area. If you came here early and looked for it, you might have noticed that it's just not here. That's because it is in the backside region, the backside area 5 region, which we actually cannot get to yet. Extend thy hands up, kick the wall, and leap to another point. This tablet teaches you how you're supposed to use the grapple claw. You leap at a hall, uh, you leap at a wall, and while holding the direction against the wall, you hold up. Then when you want to kick off the wall, you release up and uh, press the opposite button at the same time. So like here I'm releasing up and pressing right. Hold up, release up, hold up, release up, hold left, etc can use this to ricochet Lamiza off the wall and get down here, except I messed up. There we go. Alright, there is a shop here, but I have no idea where it is. Um, so I'm just not going to bother. 
You know what, I can push a few blocks around maybe, try and find it, but I have no idea what it sells or if it's even useful to me. No clue what that means. If thou rides the right, right. If thou rides the left, look. Make a mistake and the power will never be thine. Oh, here's the shop. What is here is not everything. This is the critical location. Take another path and return to this land again. We have a mini boss here. I have no idea what this thing is called, actually, so let's just, uh. Ow. Let's just kill it. You want to stand near the top, throw shurikens at it. It will die eventually, and it will die before it, uh. Completely covers this area in blocks. Just fall down here. Okay, now this is a permanently missable item if you mess up, so try not to mess up. What you want to do is uh, put a pet, not put a weight on this pedestal, then hop on, then hop up here. It'll carry you up to the top. Put another weight on this pedestal, and jump down here to get the chain whip. This is a whip upgrade that is twice as strong as the regular whip. Very classy. Anyway, now we have the chain whip. We can just get out of here. The next place we actually want to go is the Temple of Moonlight. So let's head down there. Whoopa! Die! There is actually one thing... Actually, no, I was saving it for this because it's just easier to get this way. But we actually could have gotten it on the way to get the Book of the Dead, so what the heck am I talking about? The item I was missing was a ROM you get by scanning this tablet twice. It is the Twinby ROM. I don't think it you can put that in any combos, so just don't bother, I guess. <laughs> Next thing we want to do is press that button, which uh, skims off the bottom of the pyramid to one screen to the left of here. Makes a useful shortcut back. Then we... Ooh, I messed up that one. <laughs> Seem to be messing up a lot in this video for some reason, I don't know why. You can hop on top of the button or just stab it a couple times with the knife while you're uh, doing stuff. Anyway, here is the first place where you're actually required to use the grapple claw. This gave me so much trouble my first run through because I didn't know how to use the grapple claw properly. But... If you can use it, then oof, it's actually quite simple to get to the Serpent Staff up here. Now we have the Serpent Staff, we can return to the forest and kill the enemy that it is sort of vulnerable to. It's not a weapon, but I believe the enemy is invincible if you try to fight it without the Serpent Staff. That being said, let's go. Number three seal is there. We can get some stuff if we bring it over, but it's not really necessary at this point. Again, you want shurikens for this battle. This is the Algol. Kind of looks like Argus to me. Just do that, and if it, if you have the Serpent Staff, it'll eventually die, and we can get the Feather, which is the Double Jump. To get it, you must do it on your way up at the top of your jump. You have to double tap up. So that's how it works. We can jump a lot higher and farther than we could normally, so... Oh. That's stuff we can do. 
And now that we have this, there are two more ROMs that we can get here on the surface. One of them is actually very close to the uh, entrance of the ruins. Yeah, you can see all the, the range that that gives us now. Just jump over to statue and scan the area behind it. Whoops. And you will get the Metal Gear ROM. Then for the next ROM, you want to go up to the waterfall area where you got the life jewel. As soon as this stupid bird gets out of the way. I believe those are leeches that are falling down, the red things, even though they kind of look like fish to me, and... Bah! <laughs> I ninja jump you, and I mess up the ninja jump! Anyway, we want to jump from here... Then... Oops. Totally mess up our double jump! Now that we have the double jump, we can actually get up to that area, assuming I can do it right. Because I am stupid, and I keep messing up my stuff. That's how it's done. Have you found all the ROMs? Something good will happen if you do. Oh, come to think of it, I've got one of them right here. I already finished it, so you can have it. Besides, I'm dead. Here you go. Take good care of it. This is the PR3 ROM. Which does nothing, predictably. Or wait. What happens if we... I guess it does nothing for us right now. But anyway, that is what I came here to do, and now that we've done that, it's a pretty good place to end off the episode. So, see you guys next time. Bye bye for now.